This video is for adult collectors. Hi everyone, this is a video review of the Beyblade X Extreme Battle Set from Hasbro. As you can see, I've still got it in its shipper box. If you've seen my Transformers Deathsaurus review, if you buy product exclusively from Hasbro, such as a HasLab Victory Saber or Deathsaurus, or an Amazon exclusive, I like the Dino Fury Megazord set, and sometimes a regular release such as this, you get a shipper box, even if you just buy one of them. You may have seen me unbox this during my Beyblade X Hasbro haul video I uploaded yesterday. I'll go over it again since I always go over the box at the start of my reviews. Uh, you can see uh, it's the Hasbro version. I do the Hasbro logo here and uh, ID numbers all over the front. So, uh, got uh, this off Amazon as well, like I've done with uh, all my Beyblade X stuff. So, yeah. Put it up on this end. So I'm gonna dump it out. <sighs> All right. So it's the back of the box. Uh, so finally, uh, got a Beyblade X set in English. I can read uh, the information on the back. I'm familiar with the drawn, I mean the dagger drawn Beyblade. I almost said drawn dagger because uh, the Takara Tomi version, it's called uh, drawn dagger. The words are reversed. And uh, I think the one you are most likely to be interested in is the Tusk Mammoth. This is the Hasbro exclusive uh, here uh, the this one is um, took the Takara Tomi Beyblade X Stadium was this large square shaped this is a uh, tangler shaped stadium uh, where the top and bottom are thinner than the sides so finally I can read the stats on the back. Uh, so, uh, see a nice picture of the two Beyblades comes with on the top. Uh, uh, here's some more information on the bottom. At least it's in English this time and I can read it. Uh, shows you the points uh, scored uh, when playing in a tournament. And then, I'll just suggest we get some organized play from. Hasbro or, or Wizards of the Coast, which they also own, uh, and some, uh, yeah, it shows you uh, what the Beyblade battles are like, although uh, I've been going over the Takara Tomi Beyblade X stuff for a while, so we're all familiar with uh, how Beyblade X works over on the other side of the globe. Uh, it says Extreme Battle Set. Uh, that's why I called it by name. Uh, really like the black background. Really reminiscent of the G1 Beyblade products I used to see in KB Toys. Alright, so I've got the Beyblade Stadium from this box next to the Takara Tomi, Beyblade X Stadium. Uh, they're about the same uh, size, uh, height, but significantly uh, thinner. Uh, looking at the top and bottom. All right, so I did uh, one test with the Drawn Dagger and the Tusk Mammoth in my unboxing video. Definitely gonna do a lot more testing in this video. 
see if this is a game changer or dud. I remember when uh, we saw the new Beyblade X stuff being revealed. Uh, there was a Takara Tomy logo in the corner. Everyone was hoping that the quality for Beyblade X between Hasbro and Takara Tomy would be the same. Uh, similar to how Transformers fans have been getting figures from Hasbro of similar quality to Takara Tomy since the War for Cybertron trilogy and Legacy. Uh, for instance, this is a new Transformer I got recently, Magmatron. You can see there's a Takara Tomy logo on the corner of this Transformers box as well. I hope to review uh, this soon. I haven't opened it yet. These are the launchers I got out of the box. I've said before in my unboxing video, these are pretty weak sauce. Uh, they don't have uh, multiple years. Like the winder launchers we've gotten from Takara Tomy's X Bays on a regular basis. I've heard one Takara Tomy release of Swordron. Uh, came with a white version of one of these launchers, and then uh, none of Takara Tomy's other Beyblade X releases have it. Uh, I can see why, if it was only released once, why it's only, why uh, Takara Tomy only released it once. It's no different than the launchers we got, uh, usually with Beyblade Burst Beyblades. The only the ones that came out in Pro Series were decent, and these don't even work with the uh, Beyblade X grip, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to use actually use these in the video, even though they're the ones it comes with. Right, let's use the uh, Tomy liner launchers, which I've been using all along. This is the best launcher for Beyblade X right now. Let's try that. Um, Dagger Drawn Tusk Mammoth Battle I did in the unboxing video again. Like I said earlier in this video, you're probably more interested in the Tusk Mammoth. This is the new Hasbro exclusive bay. So it's got a three point ratchet. It's got the uh, usual uh, balance type bit tip we've seen before. This looks like a. I don't know, it's like a Gale Wyvern or a slight uh, remold of it. So, yeah. So, yeah, let's test this out against other bays. Uh, first, since as uh, one you're probably most interested in, then uh, Dagger Drawn. Uh, I reviewed it in the three pack, and it, but I never really got a chance to show it off against uh, my other Beyblade collection, which has uh, grown considerably since then. So I'll do that. Pit Mammoth against uh, Tail Viper. It's the stamina version. Alright. Alright. It's pit against the regular version of Tail Viper. I gotta be well, more careful launching it in here. Right, time to try it flipped around, see if it works better that way. All 
right. Let's play against the uh, Gold Tail Viper. Mammoth lost. Yeah, that was close. Let's pit it against Sword Drawn. Right. Sword Drawn won. Another close battle. Now let's try the sword drawn, the defensive version. Right. All right. Time to try Helm Knight stamina version. Launch. Try again. All right. Do better this time. All right. Let's do this. Right. Task one. Try a Helm Knight, the gear ball tip. Alright, All right, I took the bay out of that pocket off camera. Alright, time to try a Helm Knight, balance version. Try uh, Arrow Wizard, the Gear Ball version. Right. And that's brutal. Right, uh, let's go with Arrow Wizard with a similar tip to Soar Phoenix. Right. Right. Amethyst One. Uh, now Helm Knight, defensive version. Wizard uh, defense. Let's do this. I'm going to try this again because I know it's not supposed to go the top rim. Try this again. Try uh, Arrow Wizard with the same with the tip from Rhino Horn. Right. 
and Arrow Wizard when it's also got a bounce tip. Arrow Wizard, a stamina version. It's pretty brutal. Let's try uh, Arrow Wizard with a tip similar to uh, Tail Viper. Test out against Keel Shark. Right. That's I'm going to try Sphinx Call, the black one. I think Sphinx Cow is spinning for a bit longer. Alright, I'm going to try the white Sphinx Cow. And uh, this is actually using a similar tip to the Tail Viper. I came with a tip using the same design but that one was damaged. I put it on, on the Arrow Wizard I used previously so it's pretty much the same performance. Alright, time to use the Young Claw. Right, I'm going to turn this a bit down here. I don't want it hitting the wall. Ouch! Right now, Rhino Horn. I'm gonna test it against another Rhino Horn. This one with a uh, balance tip. Mammoth won that one decisively. Let's try a Sore Phoenix. Oh wow. That was intense. Alright. Alright, now Scythe Incendio. Try a defensive version. All right, now chain incendio. against uh, Lance Knight, stamina version. Wow, that was quick.
still spinning in that corner. Hey, that's a pretty good salmon. You know, it's a pretty good salmon type one. Keeps going like that. Another Lance Knight. One with a flat tip. Right now, um, Lance Knight, gear ball version. Alright, gonna try the OG Dronzer. Right, now I'm gonna try another uh, Drawn Dagger. This one with the same tip as the Buster Drawn. Alright. Now for the actual Buster Drawn, I actually put the flat tip from the Drawn Dagger, because I noticed it had better performance with the flat one. And also so I could have two different versions of Dagger Drawn. Try a hammer and sendio. Now, Rod Wizard. Uh, that's what I assume it'll be called when we get it over here. I'll go straighten this out more. All right. Oof. I like this how it's actually stuck here. It doesn't like fall out. Let's move on to Dagger Drawn. My uh, two Dagger Drawns against each other. Right, so the one with the flat tip on. So I want to move it more over here. Just for more comfortable viewing, uh, lodging for me. Actually, he's still spinning. It's quite good. Pit a uh, dagger against the OG Dronzer. Right. Ooh, Dronzer actually won. Let's try against uh, Buster Dron. This time they have the same tip. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, what I like about this is I can actually stretch this. Uh, oof. Uh, I hope it's not um, permanently warping the thing, but you know, it's easier to do it that way on camera. Uh, now I'm starting to think I should use my red double string launchers because that was too fast. I'll try it again.
Buster Wan. Try a uh, Hammer Incendio. going. I'm going to wait it out. Uh, see how long it takes. All right, let's get some out of here. All right. Oh, playing against, um, Rod Wizard. What if its name will be changed to like Wand Wizard? I feel like that would be a better name, but now it's Rod Wizard. Um. Yeah. Actually, the. Rod Wizard and Sora Phoenix for the best Beyblades right now for X. Alright, let's try a uh, Silver Sword drawn. Liking that rattling noise. Okay, now I see why it's about to fell out. <laughs> but here it's not a burst finish until the part is completely out. Now let's try against uh, Sword Drawn. Alright, try a Tail Viper with stamina tip. So over here. Gonna lose. Actually, I'd like to try this again. Right. Okay, that's a totally different outcome. When I was able to land the accelerator dash. All right. Try the regular tail viper. So dagger was spinning a bit longer. All right now, uh, the gold viper. Try this again. Let's, let's again, as good as it can stretch this out. Uh, just be careful not to like warp this. Permanently, just try to find the best way to get out without stretching it too much. Should just stretch back. Try a Sphinx Cowl. All right. Let's go try the White Sphinx Cowl. spinning in there. Maybe it'll be called something Sphinx when it gets over here. Whether it's Cowl Sphinx or something else. Uh, this is taking a while. 
Oh wait, starting to stop. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, here. I could. I'm not sure if I could do this with like the Takara Tomi Stadium. I'll try uh, Leon Claw. Ooh, a tie. Let's try a uh, rhino horn. I thought Dagger was going to win. Turns out didn't. Let's try a uh, Rhino Horn. The balance tip. This is gonna be a good matchup. Uh Sore Phoenix against Daggerdron. Let's try a Scythe Incendio. Yeah. Ooh, it looks like it's gonna be close. Uh, yet, dagger lost. Let's try the uh, defensive version. Try um, Chain Incendio. Try uh let's try uh Lance Knight. Let's try uh Lance Knight, flat tip. Lance Knight is actually upside down, so it stops spinning. All right, let's try uh, Lance Knight. Uh, gear ball. Uh, that's a tip. I'll try a Helm Knight, Stamina, Come on. 
I'm gonna try that again. It's not supposed to land on top of here. night uh, also gear ball tip do a uh, helm night balance type Wizard, your ball. Right, try a uh, arrow wizard with the same. Tip as Sore Phoenix. Oof. Let's try a Helm Knight. Put a defense type tip on here. Whoops. <laughs> Fell off the launcher there. Actually using the previous bay. Let's try it. Ooh, what awful luck. Fell in the corner again. Okay, I'll take this out off camera. Let's try uh, Arrow Wizard, defensive type. Time for uh, Arrow Wizard. Stamina tip. Ouch. Let's do uh, Arrow Wizard. Balance type. Air Wizard, Stamina Type. Try um, Air Wizard, the tip from the uh, White Sphinx Cowl. Finally, kill shark. Right. Ouch. Alright, so 
the only thing that I want to go over is that uh, the winder uh, records that come with these do actually work with uh, launchers we get uh, most Takara Tomi uh, Beyblades from X and uh, these are actually, what's good these are actually packaged straight so um, I was hoping we would actually get uh, straight ones like um, I mean, uh, straight one's more this length, but as you can see, it's uh, significantly uh, shorter. This is useful if you want to have like a slightly weaker launch. Here. So just... so see, it's um. Still doing extreme dash, but it's not uh, going out of stadium. Uh, Fortunately, the ones actually comes with are quite um, mediocre. Uh, I don't need uh, these. Don't have the. I don't think these have as many gears as the larger. Winder, so um, you can see a considerable difference in the launching power. So, like this. So, this one. Oh, well, it feels about the same, but I think. Uh, uh, this one's better. Uh, this one I don't even like to hold because it doesn't work with the grip. Uh, well, let's try this one, anyways. Let's see if I can like crank this. I don't care much for it. I think you can, but um, it's a pretty more irritating noise than uh, this one, so I guess I wouldn't recommend uh, doing it at all. But even so, it doesn't work with the grip, so I still prefer the larger one. Alright, so these bays are alright. This is the Dagger Drawn we're familiar with, and uh, the Tusk Mammoth is an alright Beyblade 2. Uh, not the best, but uh, still wins at least uh, half the clashes with the other Beyblades. Steam works great. Right. Uh, glad we have a more compact one to, uh, that I could take around. Uh, to parties and events, so on. One thing I don't like are these launchers. Unfortunately, we're getting um, uh, these sort of launchers with the Transformers base, like I've seen. It's unfortunate because I really would like to get more uh, personalized launchers with those Beyblades. But I guess we'll just stick to using the ones we already got. I mean, the la launchers, I mean. Stadium does, still does everything. Well, it does some things better, like you don't have the Beyblades falling out of here anymore. It's probably harder to work with like, if you got like two people, they're um, launching in here at the same time you got left space to move your launcher away as you're pulling your cord. That's important because you don't want your Beyblade flying back or onto this rim like it did sometimes when I was testing here. Uh, yet I like the cool new look. Uh, Really, the black and the green really helps freshen uh, the look of the stadium up. Even if it's not as big as the one made by Takara Tomi. Uh, I feel like this is a game changer. Uh, it's better than that bucket stadium, at least I think. Because uh, uh, the one time I tried before, I uh, couldn't do the Extreme Dash. But uh, I'll try it again just to make sure. I mean, when I do my own re uh, when I do a review focused on it. A game changer in... I'm always in one, because we're finally getting Beyblades. On par with the ones released by Takara Tomi. Again, since Metal Fight. I think this uh, Tusk Mammoth looks great. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are convinced. It looks like a sight remote of uh, Gale Wyvern. I know some people say the new Megatron the Transformer Beyblade is like a slight retool of Scythe Incendio. Uh, I mean, I think this is actually closer to Wyvern than Incendio was to Megatron.
it was, it's a nicely molded design. It's nice to have an exclusive and not just uh, makes the wait for Hasbro's version of X worth it. Uh, not just a smaller stadium that's cheaper, but also oh, um, brand completely new Beyblade. So, aside from the launchers, once again, I'll say this is a great set. You get two solid Beyblades. Both look great. Their attack and balance type, so they move, will move around quite a bit to do the extreme dash. I make for some very entertaining battles in the stadium, as for the stadium itself. Say again, it's a game changer, at least for me. It fits better in the widescreen uh, format uh, for me recording videos on YouTube when I have it uh, sideways like this. Uh, Beyblades won't fall out here, so I don't have to worry about them hitting my camera stand. It's easier to take this to events, parties, and store this in the large bins. I've shown before on my channel. I forget which video. Still does the extreme dash. I mean, uh, it's called the accelerator dash now. It has the pockets in the corners. Only two of them, so I like it better than the bucket uh, stadium, which I've shown in my previous unboxing video. It's got a nice uh, canopy over it, just like the Takara Tomi version, to keep the Beyblades from falling. I mean, flying out. Love the new green and black look. Even... The ripcord launcher looks great. Uh, it's shorter, so you get a more, uh, if you want a slightly weaker launch. Uh, works with the ripcord launchers we already have from most Takara Tomy Beyblade X tops. Again, you get two solid Beyblades. Uh, not the best, but they still win most of the time against the other Beyblade X tops. Once again, this is a great set and a great way uh, for. To get into Beyblade X, if getting this set is cheaper for you than getting the Takara Tomy uh, Stadiums and their Beyblade X Beyblades. Please like this video, and if you do, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I mean, YouTube channel. That's it for my review. Bye.